Hi, so this is just a simple schedule um, using the free software LibreOffice and it's just for people who are just starting out with their business, perhaps they're cleaning, lawn mowing, something like that and they just need something free that um, they can put down their, the addresses of places that they're servicing, the date they've serviced them, um, how often they need to service them and then and then it, it will work out when the next schedule is so um, and I'll show you the formula for that so here we have um, I'll, I'll start a new one I'll increase the font oh, I'll just select it all Increase the font to 20 and then we'll have Schedule I'm just showing the whole thing so that um, you might learn some tips while I'm um, doing this. So I'll just get the. This is really for um, beginner beginners who just want something simple and um, easy to use. I quite often get people that, you know, they don't want to buy um, the expensive packages just yet. They've just started out, they've got maybe 20, 30 customers and they just, or less, you know, they're just starting and they just want to um, have some sort of organisation. So I just put, oh, and if you have the number at, at the start, um, and you drag down it'll number it there so um, if also the other thing is if you're like me and you don't use the American um, format so for dates um, go down to English and the nearest for me is Australian. So that so let's see if that works. Yep. Okay, so um, if I drag that down that should change the dates. Okay, so I'll just different frequencies that we have if we have um, doing work every second day if we go there once a week every seven days if we go there once every ten days I did used to have some work with people every ten days and then um, what might we three weekly uh, every four weeks now Let's say you have a job that you need to do at the end of the month, at the end of every month. I'll show you the one for that. And then there might be some people that want to be done uh, maybe on a, a, a specific, so like um, on the second of every month or on the third of every month. So. Um, is a formula for that and so with all these these ones you just do equals this plus this and then press enter and we'll do the same thing where I change the format date 
sorry, I, I find the um, American one really confusing because I'm not used to it. So if I go like that, that should work out everything there. Now for this one, Bulls end of month. So the start date um, is this date, and then the months, we just want to go by the next one, and this should work, yep, and then if we do this one by the date, um, I can't remember the formula, so I'll just go have a look. So, date, okay, mm. oh. so this is the formula. So it's equals date year. Year is now, whatever year it is now. Um, and if I can okay, so I'll see if I can remember all this. So you say. Uh, So that is um, where I've left that other, if you, I don't know if you can see, but sometimes this happens if you select the formula. Okay, so Sorry, I just. If you s select a formula and don't get out of it, and it's. Yeah, it, it still thinks that you're working with this formula here. Because I went into it up in the um, input line, and then it just kind of gets stuck. So, sorry about that, but that might be helpful for other people that have the same problem or wonder it, what the hell is happening. Um, so, date, year is now, um, month is it? it again. Date, year, now, month, plus one, oh yeah, and then that's the date, ah, oh, okay, I see. So, month plus one is for the next month, and then day will be, you might want to say the, I'll say the fifth of every month. This should work. Yeah, so, so that'll just, uh, so that's gone from, so it's added a month to this one, and then you put, so if, if I've got the fifth there, it's because it's the fifth of every month, I could change that to the seventh, and it'll be the seventh. So, um, then this is when it's next scheduled, and then when you do it on the 3rd of January, you can just go 
3rd of January and then it'll change it to when it's next due. So then if I've done this one on the 9th of January, then it changes it. So if I've done this one on the 13th, so every time you do the work, you just put it in that you've done it and it'll work out the next date it's due. So, so if I do this one on the 28th of February, okay, next one's 31st of March. And then if I do this on the 7th of February, yeah, so um, I hope that was helpful. I'll just include all the mistakes I've made just might be helpful for other people and uh, have a lovely day um, yeah thank you for watching <laughs> um.